We're just thrilled to have Hillary here in our city. do today is say a few words, but mostly to hear from you. What I want to do is to start making it possible for us to act like Americans again. You know, Americans who look at the future and believe it is ours, Americans who know that there isn't a problem we can't solve, and I need your help. We are in the midst of a contested campaign that is bringing so many people into the process and here we are in North Carolina and I want to know what's on your minds and what ideas you have. Yes, I saw this lady's hand right there. I'm a vet and I want to know what you can do to help increase the budget for veterans. I believe that we have to fully fund the VA. We can make the VA efficient, but we can't do it by starving it. We have to be sure it's got the resources it needs. We also have to have a seamless health care system. From the time you are active duty, guard and reserve, until you are a veteran for years to come. Let's see. Yes. You may not remember this, but Thanksgiving 2003, you were on a Kodal going through Afghanistan, Kandahar Airfield. When you went back to your plane, I was the first sergeant that you talked to. My question is going to be, in 25 years, I will be fully capable of drawing full um, Social Security. What about my ch children and that 18-month-old granddaughter? I would tell you to tell your daughter and your new granddaughter that certainly if I am elected president, we will never privatize Social Security and certainly extend it to the end of this century. Okay, last question is this young man who's been very eager. Both my grandparents died from heart disease. And I'm just wondering, Senator Clinton, what would you would do to help cure diseases like heart disease? That's a really very good question. We've got to change a lot of how we deliver health care. And the best way to do that is to have universal health care where everybody has access to prevention. You know, North Carolina is going to be in the spotlight. You're going to have a chance to listen to the candidates, to try to figure out where each of us stands on the important issues of the day to begin to sort through the choice you have to make. And if you think about it as a hiring decision, you can ask yourself, who would you hire to turn the economy around? Who would you hire to stand up to the oil companies and the oil producing countries? Who would you hire to move us toward universal health care? Who would you hire to end No Child Left Behind and make college affordable again? Who would you hire to get us out of Iraq in the right way and take care of our veterans? If you will stand with me, I promise I will stand up and fight for you and your families every single day.